There are a few gun bills in the pipeline, as Natalie mentioned, headed to our state legislators. Joining us now to talk more about it is Washington State's Lieutenant Governor Cyrus Habib. Mr. Habib, it's great to have you here. Thank you so much. First of all, how is Washington doing in terms of passing gun safety laws? Because it seems like if one state passes something, it might be a moot point if it's not uniform across the country. Well, I think we've done uh, a reasonable job when the voters have actually had a direct say. We've seen ballot measures passing with overwhelming support to keep guns out of the hands of the wrong people and to close the gun show uh, loophole. Uh, the challenge now is to get the legislature to pass uh, more meaningful legislation that can have the kind of effect that we really need. Why is it so hard to have a conversation about gun rules in the state legislature? Well, I think it's because uh, people tend to take a um, uh, this or that approach where you you know either you're saying that you support mental health funding uh, or you're taking the approach of saying we need firearm safety and I think we need both I mean I'm a cancer survivor and it would be ridiculous to say that we're gonna fight cancer just by doing one of the following either banning asbestos uh, preventing people from uh, from smoking, doing early detection, or, or uh, curing the disease itself. We need to have all of those be part of the process of fighting cancer. And similarly here, we need to get assault weapons out of our community. They have no place in our state, and there are plenty of gun owners who agree with us on that. And that's the tricky point, Mr. Habib, is that when we say assault weapons, I think we need a better definition because the guy who opened fire at the Skagit Valley Mall had a 22 rifle, which you can put 18 rounds in and he killed a lot of people. So when we say assault weapons, what do we mean exactly by that? Well, we, we're, we're, we're concerned that uh, one of the ways in which he was able to uh, retrofit his semi-automatic weapon was with the use of one of these bump stocks. And I think Governor Inslee's um, m rightfully brought attention to those kinds of devices. But this really makes the point that, look, we want hunters to be able to hunt. We want people to be able to protect themselves in their own homes. But when you start creating a, a, an environment where people can get their hands on these kinds of guns, we don't have lockbox safety laws. We sell, you know, uh, uh, cartridges that can, you know, kill so many people at a time. That's really not about sports and it's not about self-defense. It's about allowing this, these types of tragedies to happen. What about the timing of this conversation? Do you think now is an appropriate time? There's a lot of debate about this is not the time to talk about this gun legislation. I think Sandy Hook was the appropriate time. I think Columbine was the appropriate time. And I think the tragedies we've had in our own state, in Burlington and Muckleteo, and just recently in the Spokane area, those were all the appropriate times. We're past time. Uh, so uh, this, this couldn't be more urgent, and I would love for Congress to act. I have to say, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of faith that that will happen soon. So we know that the voters support strong firearm safety legislation. I admire Governor Inslee's lead on this, and I think we need the legislature to act on it now. Just about out of time. Last night, we urged our viewers to take this debate back from the fringes. What's your message to the fringes tonight? Uh, my message is, look, um, we can both respect the Second Amendment and respect reality and recognize that everyone has a right to go to a country music concert or go to school, go to a theater in safety. So let's not pit those two things against each other. Let's move ahead in a common sense way. That is how we do things in Washington State. Lieutenant Governor Cyrus Habib, thank you very much for joining us thank today. Thank you so much. Thank you.